What's going on, Odoers, and welcome back. Today, we're going to build on the basics of access rights by applying them to Stealthy Woods' new and improved inventory team. We hired two new employees to so have to configure their user roles and permissions in Odoo so it reflects their responsibilities. Wally, he's our new warehouse manager, and he'll be overseeing incoming and outgoing operations, inventory adjustments, procurement, and reporting. Ali, our new warehouse operator, will be handling product moves, scanning barcodes, and recording transfers. Unlike Wally, Ali won't have access to critical configurations. This ensures nothing gets accidentally changed or adjusted, like altering the number of a bill of materials, accidentally shutting down a workstation, or even changing assigned tasks. This setup will help our inventory team work efficiently and securely with access to exactly what they need and nothing more. Okay, first things first, let's set up the warehouse manager, Wally. I need to access our settings app, and then I'm going to click on manage users, followed by new in the top left corner. So Wally's role covers stock operations, receipts, and manufacturing, ideal for someone overseeing logistics and coordinating with other departments. So we're gonna start by giving his name, and then we're just gonna put Wally Warehouse. And then we're gonna add his email, which is Wally at test.com, which is obviously a very real email. So for this role, I'm going to keep the role as member because our manager doesn't need admin rights for the entire database. And now we're gonna to scroll to the very bottom and assign him some necessary permissions. So first here in the supply chain section, we're gonna give Wally admin level permissions for manufacturing, which is already set. Then we're gonna make sure he has it for purchase and inventory as well, which he does. And next, we wanna make sure he has access to the quality app, but he only needs user level access rather than admin, so we're just gonna leave it at user. Then over here in the productivity section for this user rights, we're gonna allow him to have access to the documents app. However, he doesn't need admin access rights. He only needs access to his own documents, so we're gonna leave this on the user setting. So now before we finish the setup, I'm going to remove all the other admin access rights he has here just because he does not need that on his profile. So we'll remove that from services, sales, accounting, as well as the sign app here, and then everything in marketing and human resources. Okay, looks like our warehouse manager is ready to go. Now let's create a profile for our warehouse operator. Okay, like I mentioned earlier in the video, not only did we hire Wally, but we also hired a new warehouse operator, Ollie. And that's because our business is growing and we can hardly keep up with all of our new inventory and the shipments. So this role is streamlined for workers on the warehouse floor, focusing on stock moves, transfers, and barcode based workflows. So first things first, let's enter Ollie's name here, which will be Ollie Operator. And we'll also enter his email here, which is just Ollie at test.com. Next, we're going to head back to the supply chain section. Ollie only needs user level access rights for inventory. So we're going to update this now from administrator to user. And now, as far as the rest of the permissions, these can change depending on the operator's responsibility. Ali doesn't need to work with procurement, so I'm gonna remove his access rights to the purchase app. And he also doesn't need access rights to manufacturing, so we're gonna remove that as well. And just like what we did with Wally, I'm going to remove all the other admin rights from the other apps because Ali just doesn't need it. So we'll move it from master data, sales, accounting, services, productivity, marketing, and lastly, human resources once again. All right, Ollie is now ready to go. Now let's take a look at these profiles in action. As the warehouse manager, Wally is going to be in charge of maintaining our inventory levels. Just now he noticed we seem to be running low on wood panels and since they are used in a lot of our products, we must restock these ASAP. So we're gonna hop into our purchase application, click new at the top left, and then we're going to enter our favorite vendor, Gemini Furniture. And then in the product field, we're just going to add our wood panels. And like I said, we're running low and we need a lot of them. So I'm going to add a quantity of 100. 
Now I just need to confirm this order. And then we'll click receive. Since Wally did the ordering, it's only fair that we let Ollie do the validating, right? All right, we're now logged in as Ollie. And first, we're going to notice how many fewer apps Ollie has in comparison to Wally. And that's because of the access rights that we configured earlier. Without some of those permissions, some apps just simply don't appear. Now, alongside with our inventory access comes the barcode access. And I think we can all agree not only is the barcode app important, but it's also a lot more fun to use. So let's see how Ollie would validate a receipt using the barcode app, shall we? But before we jump in, be sure to check out our documentation on barcodes and tutorials to learn more information on how to set up and use barcode scanners. Nonetheless, here in the barcode app, we're just going to click this operations button here at the bottom, followed by the receipts card on the left. This page right here shows Ollie all of the orders that we're expecting. So we're going to go ahead and validate our order here from Gemini Furniture. Once on this window, I can use the barcode scanner to confirm the products, or we can also just click this plus button to confirm all of the products are here all at once. Then all I have to do is click validate. And boom, Ollie's job is done. Excellent teamwork there. Good job, gentlemen. And there you have it. With these profiles configured correctly, your supply chain team is now equipped for daily operations and long-term success. Warehouse operators can focus on daily operations and receipts, allowing warehouse managers to handle planning, purchasing, and production support. This division of responsibilities help reduce errors, protect sensitive settings, and optimize team workflows. As always, thanks for watching, O-Doers, and I'll see you in the next video.